<laughs> Good morning, friends. Happy Friday. We made it. We did a whole week of stay home circle times. So hopefully you're still watching and enjoying and doing our activities that we've been sharing with you. Um, I hope you're still using your listening ears and your nice hands at home. Um, today we are going to do our circle time and then we're going to show you a little movement activity that you can do at home to get your body moving in case you've been a little antsy. Are you ready? We're going to start with our month of the year and today we're going to sing it quiet. Ready? And make sure your clap's quiet too. We use the teeny tiny clap. Ready? January, February, March and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Hey, hey. Good job. Our month is March. It is March. Are you ready to count? One, One two, two, three. three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty, get the twenty out. <coughs> and red, black, red, black, red, black, black. It's going to go on the black side today. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week. All right, we said today is Friday. Show them Friday. Yesterday was Thursday, and tomorrow will be Saturday. Saturday, and our season is spring. We are going to go outside and check the weather. You want to come with us? Weather watcher, weather watcher, what do you see? What do you see? Tell me what the weather is. Tell me what the weather is. Won't you please? Won't you please? Okay, let's go. Okay, we're back. We checked the weather. Um, we just went outside and it is cool today. It's not as cold this morning, so that's good. Um, and it's foggy. F-O-G-G-Y. F-O-G-G-Y. F. Oh, gee, and foggy is the weather. And I read that it is going to be warm today. So definitely a day to get outside and play. Now let's see what we have. <clears throat> I don't really have a foggy one. We'll use the cloudy. <clears throat> because here it's there's a lot of clouds in the sky. So is that cloudy? What about that one? That one? No. We'll see. That one? Yeah. Yeah. We'll use him today. Go ahead. You want to put it in there? And we need to switch this. It's not very cold <clears throat> today. It's more cool. All right. Um, Emerson is going to read you this book called And Then It's Spring, and after the story, we'll show you our movement activity. Ready? Okay. Hi, the book we're going to read today is And Then It's Spring. First you have brown. All around you have brown. Then there are seeds. And they wish for rain, and then it rains. And it is still brown, but a hopeful, very possible sort of brown. And is that a little green? No, it's just brown. It's just brown, sort of brown. Then it's a week. 
And you worry about those little seeds. And maybe if it was the birds, or maybe it was the bears and all that stomping, because bears can't read signs that say things like, please do not stomp here. There are seeds and they're trying. And then it's one more week. And the brown, still brown, has a greenish hump that you can only hear if you put your ear to the ground and close your eyes. And then it's one more week. And a sunny day, that sunny day, that happens right after that rainy day. And you walk outside to check on all that brown. But the brown isn't around. And now you have green. All around you have green. The end. Thank you for reading that story for us. Um, I now at our house, we're, we've been waiting very patiently for our seeds to grow. They take a long time, but they'll get there. We just have to keep watering them, giving them sun and encouraging them, right? All right, so this is the movement game we made for you. So all you have to do is write different activities on flowers. For example, this one says squats. This one says push-ups. And all we did was write the activity on a piece of construction paper. And we didn't have popsicle sticks at home. So we went outside and got regular old sticks from the yard. So we wrote different activities on, um, you can choose as many or as few as you want. And then what you do is you have, um, you just pick a flower and you have to do what the activity says. You can pick a certain number of times that you have to do it. Or for an extra challenge, you can write numbers on some and then choose two flowers. So you would pick a number flower. That is the number 10. 10. You would pick a number flower and an activity flower that says squats. So in this case, you would have to do 10 squats. So Emerson is going to demonstrate the game for us. Hi, welcome back. Happy Friday. Today we're going to do a fun spring activity. So all you need is construction paper flowers and anything that you can attach the flower to. So, yeah. So we have these flowers with activities to do on them. So I got burpees. So we're going to do five burpees. So next, I got to run in place. So next one, I got jumping jacks. Do five jumping jacks. I got push-ups. Do five push-ups. Got bear crawl. Hop in place. And yeah, you can make as many more as you want and you can make them challenging. Yeah. Okay, hopefully you get a chance to try that activity today. Um, I think that's it. We will be back later today with um, different activities and crafts and things that you can do for over the weekend um, because we will not be here Saturday and Sunday, but we will be back on Monday with another circle time for you. Um, we will leave you with a picture of our plant. Bye guys. Thank you.